Well, I want to talk about uh, immortality uh, today. I want to talk about how you can add 25 to 50 healthy years to your life, how you can add, uh, I mean, really healthy years to your life. The goal here is to be chronologically 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, while being biologically 30, 40, 50. Now, this is quite doable, but this has to be a priority. This has to be something that's at the top of your pile here. It can't be something that you just sort of think about it once in a while. This has got to be in the front of your mind every second. Uh, two things we have to do. Number one, avoid all the bad stuff. Number two, do all the good stuff. That's just the two basic principles. Avoiding the bad stuff um, is uh, actually easy, but uh, it takes will to do that because I get people to say, well, well, what do I eat? Well, um, it's very simple. Now, first of all, we need to get rid of all fried food. You can eat people. Uh, you, can, you can eat food roasted. You can eat food roasted, baked, stewed, um, grilled, poached. There's all kinds of ways to do it. You can, certain foods you can eat raw, and um, you're just staying away from the fried foods. So that's easy. You want to stay away from the processed meats with nitrates and nitrites. It means absolutely no deli slices, no sandwich meats, no sausage, ham, bacon, bologna, salami, pastrami, pepperoni, jerky, corned beef, spam, canned meats, hot dogs, all that stuff's got to go. And the reason you want to give up fried foods and the processed meats is because the fried foods, the burnt meats, the heated oils, and the nitrates and the nitrites in the processed meats all cause inflammation of the body as they actually set up your blood vessels to respond in a way that clogs your arteries. The cholesterol has nothing to do with clogged arteries, stroke, or heart attacks. It's actually inflammation that's caused by consuming fried foods, salad dressings, cooking oils, and eating canned fish that are packed in oil instead of water. And it's very easy to give up those two categories of food. There's many, many ways to eat food without frying or having processed meat. You can have roast beef. You can have a baked pork chop, but don't eat bacon. You can have roast pork, but don't eat ham or sausage and so on. Then you need to give up all oils. It means margarines. Uh, you're going to give up uh, mayonnaise, salad dressings, cooking oils. If you eat canned fish, they're going to be packed in water, mustard, or tomato sauce. No oils. And then most people should give up gluten. No wheat, barley, rye, or oats. Absolutely no wheat, barley, rye, or oats. And the purpose here is, again, to reduce inflammation, not only of your arteries and veins, but also other tissues, and uh, increase your absorbability of uh, nutrients. Uh, the old saying was, you are what you eat, and that's not true. You are what you absorb. If you have a gluten intolerance, you lose up to 85% of your absorptive surface of your intestines. You start getting scar tissue in there, and you wind up with celiac disease, irritable bowel syndrome, inflammatory bowel disease, celi uh, uh, celiac disease, diverticulitis, uh, things like appendicitis, uh, colitis, ir uh, ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease, all these are manifestations of gluten intolerance. So you need to give up gluten, no wheat, brother, and oats. It's everything. And I urge you to get a hold of that CD called Serial Killers in the book he uh, Hell's Kitchen. Uh, there's big sections in there in the book Hell's Kitchen on gluten-free foods. And then, of course, you have uh, the whole CD, Serial Killers, is about gluten and where you find it hidden and so on. Then I want you to get a hold of that book, Immortality. It teaches you how to deal with over... Um, 900 different diseases from a different aspect than the trilogy books, Let's Play Doctor, Let's Play Herbal Doctor, and Passport to Aromatherapy, which goes down through the diseases in an alphabetic order and tells you a little formula to deal with them. The book Immortality looks at the top 20 longevity cultures on earth and shows you what they do. And there's actually 25 common threads between these top 20 longevity cultures. And so we put the uh, 25 common threads in the book and as a result, they, they actually have 40 times 100 olds we do. They have 100 old per 250 of their population. Americans have 100 old per 10,000. They have 40 times 100 olds we do. They have no doctors, no clinics, no hospitals, no private insurance, no government insurance, no pharmaceuticals, pharmacies, or pharmacists. Absolutely no 911 or, or um, emergency services. So how is it they have 40 times 100 olds we do? Well, you've got to read the book, Immortality, to find out. There is a CD that goes along with it called From Here to Immortality. Another one I'd like to throw in along with from here to mortality is called What Kills Billionaires? If you look at billionaires and you take them out as a demographic, they can afford the best chefs, the best food, the best personal trainers. Uh, they can afford uh, the best or most expensive doctors, most expensive health care plans. There's nothing that billionaires can't afford to get that might extend their life and make them healthier, yet their average lifespan as of March of 2011 is 66. The average lifespan of billionaires is 66 according to a Forbes study, 
and um, uh, they there's never been a billionaire who lived to be 100. When you look at all the people who lived to be 100, they're usually little old, uh, illiterate people living out in the swamps, Louisiana or East Texas or West Virginia, out in the piney woods, and have never seen a doctor in their life. They can't read. They don't have insurance, and yet they live to be 120, 130, uh, 112, 115, and so on. And that's because they're getting nutrients. Well, how do they do that? Well, they get it from the plant minerals, and the plant minerals, of course, they get them from, are from wood ashes. Wood ashes are not ashes. They're plant minerals. When you burn the wood, you put the plant minerals, a.k.a. wood ashes, in the garden. The plants suck them up. You eat the plants. You get your minerals in that fashion. The average American doesn't do that anymore. So we have to get back to that, and this is where the platform of the 90 Essential Nutrients comes in, the 90 for Life program, and get that book, Immortality. Get the CDs from Here to Immortality and What Kills Billionaires, and you are going to have an education like you can't believe. You will say, oh, my gosh, we didn't realize that we really have to get rid of the bad stuff. We didn't realize there's all kinds of good stuff you can eat. Think about it. There's 1.5 billion Chinese, and they don't get gluten intolerance. They live on rice and baked sweet potatoes with butter and, and cinnamon. So all you have to do is follow the rules in the book Immortality. We'll be back after these messages. If you're the type of person who likes to volunteer and help others, this should interest you. What better way to help people than to help them overcome their health challenges? Longevity has been helping people overcome their health challenges for years. Our approach to health is drastically different than medical doctors who mostly only treat symptoms. As a veterinarian, Dr. Joel Wallach discovered that many common disease states are actually preventable and reversible. Our mission at Longevity is to educate Americans about their own health. If you like helping people, join us in our fight to save America. While you're helping people prevent and overcome health challenges, you will also be able to build a lucrative home-based business. So what are you waiting for? Come join us and help save America. If you've decided to join us, call your local Longevity associate to find out how you can arm yourself with the knowledge that's needed to save America. Numerous studies have shown the link between the intake of antioxidants and disease prevention. Foods and supplements are measured in an auric scale. Auric is an acronym for Oxygen Radical Absorption Capacity. In other words, the ability to remove disease causing free radicals from the human body. Longevity Cell Shield RTQ has an auric value of 15,800 points per serving. Cell Shield RTQ contains resveratrol, known as an anti aging compound, turmeric, known for promoting healthy digestion, brain function, immune system, and cellular longevity. Quercetin, a flavonoid, is known for promoting healthy blood sugar metabolism and healthy lung and cardiovascular function. Remove free radicals from your body with Cell Shield RTQ from Longevity. If you'd like to learn more about nutritional supplementation, call your local Longevity associate. And don't forget to ask about home based business opportunities. Okay, Doug, what pearls of wisdom do you have for us? Well, I thought we'd talk a bit about drugs, as I've got a couple of drugs here, if we can get to both stories. That are got a little problem now, as Fox News story headlined, FDA warns Zithromax could cause fatal irregular heart rhythm. FDA is now warning that the antibiotic, uh, it's called azithromycin, or Zithromax is what it's sold under, it could actually cause a fatal irregular heart rhythm in some patients. This was a study that was published in the New England Journal of Medicine. And so what they did was they compared the risk of cardiovascular death from different antibacterial drugs and found that this particular drug made by Pfizer and also sold uh, by generic drug makers had a higher death rate. It's the, the warning, uh, FDA said, that they could cause abnormal changes in the electrical activity of the heart that may lead to potentially fatal heart rhythm known as prolonged QT interval. They say in which the timing of the heart contractions becomes irregular. FDA says doctors should caution, uh, use some caution, that is, uh, when giving this uh, popular antibiotic to patients known to have this condition or who have other certain risk factors. Those risk factors include low levels of potassium or magnesium. Why not just supplement with those? And then slower (laughs) than normal heart rate or people who take other drugs that are used to treat abnormal heart rhythms or arrhythmias. 
They go on to say that uh, it's noted that other drugs in the same class, such as azithromycin, such as macrolides, also have the potential to cause QT prolongation. And they go on to say that uh, non-macrolide antibiotics, such as fluoroquinolones, do not have these risks. Uh, Pfizer, when they were trying to contact them about this story, oh, no comment. You know, the question here is, okay, how often is it? It's almost a daily, weekly basis where the FDA issues some warning about a drug. And people seem to forget, these are all drugs they approve. They approve them safe for sale to the American public. And then, whoops, down the road, uh, you know, like Vioxx is one that comes in. Celebrex are ones that come to mind. They, you know, some of these were on the market for years before they decided to pull them off. Yeah, and of course, this comes from the standpoint that um, a pharmaceutical company can do, say, a thousand tests on a new drug, and 998 of them turn out bad. They discount all that, and they only show the FDA the two that um, uh, are, are favorable, even by one percent. You just have to have one percent over placebo or dummy pill uh, to get a drug approved. And if you have two big studies, and they show, gosh, there's no negative. Um, then the FDA is going to prove it. They they really need to change their system in which anything that the that the company does are obligated by law to show it. They can't just pick you know cherry pick the good ones. They got to show them all, and that's the piece that's missing here. Well, yeah. Right? Uh, well, isn't this all kind of part of that that fast track that came in in the '80s where it was an effort to try and get these quote life saving drugs onto the market faster, and they started allowing the companies themselves to do their trials rather than the FDA conducting the trials. And how many times has it come out later through, you know, some uh, company employee gets fired and so they're disgruntled and then they release a bunch of memos that, oh, we knew all along that this drug had this problem. We just didn't show that to the FDA. I mean, that happens all the time. It happens all the time. It happens, and I don't know, it's very, very high percentage. It might be as many as 80% of the drugs they approve. Um, you think about it, uh, Vandia for, for diabetes killed 100,000 people a year for four years before they took it off the market. Biox killed 50,000 people a year for four years before they took it off the market. And uh, as you say, you take uh, one herb and it gives somebody diarrhea, there's a, sh a shout and hue and cry. They want to take all herbs off the market. Well, yeah, echinacea comes to mind. Remember that one mm -hmm. baseball player died and it was found out later he was running a rubber suit in a 100-degree temperature and it had taken way more than the recommended dosage. Yeah, and let's blame it on the echinacea. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Doug. Really well done as usual. Well, stick with us. We'll be back with more Truth, Justice, and the Yongevity Way on Dead Doctors Don't Lie after these messages. Okay, Doug, let's go to callers. Well, let's head to Manitoba, Canada, and Carmel, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Hello, Carmel, you're on the air. Good afternoon, Dr. Wallach. I... This is a little different. I have I've been coughing a lot of phlegm, and uh, I was wondering if you have anything to get rid of it and what's causing it. You okay, know, well, how long has this been going on? For well, right now it's two weeks, but I've had it all along, but never that much. At okay, once. when you say you've had it all along, did you have it as a child? Oh, I don't remember. No, I don't think so. Okay, did you have your appendix out as a child? No. Okay, did no. you have asthma? No, I have uh -huh. nothing. Uh, I mean, I'm very healthy, except mm -hmm. that this this phlegm, I've been getting rid of it. I've had it all along, but not much. Mm -hmm. But uh, in the last two weeks, I've been coughing it up, and it's embarrassing, you know. Sure, I understand. <clears throat> and that, so how much do you weigh now, Carmel? About 2170. Okay, and how old are you? 81. All right. You sound like you have a lot of energy. Oh, I do. Good girl. Okay, well, a couple more questions here. Do you have any skin problems, any eczema, dermatitis, psoriasis, or rosacea? Do you have really pink cheeks or anything like that? Uh, I do, yes. Pink cheeks one, once in a while. Yeah, people notice that. Okay. Yeah, this could be called rosacea. And um, uh, rosacea occurs in people who have uh, a gluten intolerance. Do you have any children? No, no, I'm single. Okay, do you have any uh, brothers and sisters? Uh, I have two sisters left. Okay, is, is some of them have passed away, have they? Oh, yeah, well, there was nine in the family. They're all gone except oh. for two. Okay, and um, 
Did any of them have any respiratory problems or skin problems? No, no, no. I had a couple of, uh, uh, died of aneurysm, and the other one, well, she was 90, and the other boys, I don't know. Okay. It's right. age. Very good. You don't have any diabetes or high blood pressure or no, arthritis? No, to be, uh, that's what's nice about it. I have nothing okay, except good. this. Um, uh, it's embarrassing, you know, because I cough a lot, and it, sure. it comes up, but still... I'd like to know if there's something I can take to get rid of it. And what's yes, ma'am. Causing well, here's, well, here's what I want you to do. Two things. <clears throat> I want you to get rid of some bad stuff in your diet, and then I'm going to have you take what? You see, you weigh 170 pounds. You have your pen yeah, and paper. Yeah, that. Be 175. But okay, that's close I'm enough. I'm five, five three, I guess now. Okay. All right. It actually goes by weight rather than height. That tells me a few things. Uh, do you ever have constipation where you need laxatives or fiber to no, have regular like problems? No, like I said, uh, uh, I'm quite fortunate. I have nothing except okay, good. For this. Okay, well, when we come back, I just want you to write down, because I'm going to give you a program, a dietary program and also a supplement program that's going to deal with the, um, with the uh, phlegm you're dealing with. We'll be back after these messages. Uh, Doug, let's go right back to Canada and Carmel. Uh, Carmel, what I'd like you to do is give up bad stuff. Things are going to cause me because I would have you give up dairy, which is uh, legendary for contributing to mucus production. So that means no cheese, no yogurt, no uh, milk of any kind. I want you to uh, drink instead our Rebound, which is a, our sports drink. It has 100 nutrients in it. Uh, you can drink that instead of water. It's called Rebound, and it has 100 nutrients in it, uh, 77 plant minerals and all the other stuff to bring it up to 100 nutrients. It's the only one in the market that has more than six and so we're very, very proud of that. Rebound, that's what we want to drink, not dairy products. Then, at 170, 175 pounds, I would have you take two of the healthy bone and joint packs, two of the healthy bone and joint packs per month, uh, one full dose of each of the four products um, at breakfast, and one full dose of each of the four products at dinner time. Then, specifically, uh, for the cough, and um, we're going to assume here that you have a chronic little infection. Uh, we're going to assume that for a moment. Uh, I want you to uh, take what we call Raven Sarah, which is one of our ancient legacy aromatherapy oils, Raven Sarah. I want you to put a few drops in your hands, rub it together, and then inhale it, deeply inhale it down into your trachea and down into your lungs. And um, uh, Raven Sarah is a legendary um, aromatherapy oil, which uh, supports healthy respiratory function. Then I would also have you take extra of the omega-3 essential fatty acids. You're, you're going to wind up getting three of the EFA pluses when you have your two healthy bone and joint packs three t- uh, twice a day, three at breakfast, three dinner. And so I'd get an extra bottle of the large 180 count of the EFAs, and I would take three of those twice a day. That's going to support uh, your bronchi and your, and your lungs' ability to produce prostaglandins, which dilate your bronchi and your trachea. And lastly... I would have you take what we call um, uh, OxyBody. Once you take an ounce of that at bedtime, OxyBody, and that's going to actually uh, cleanse your um, digestive system, and it's going to help you uh, because it does have an oxygen supplement. It's going to help you with your respiratory uh, concerns. Uh, Give me a call every two weeks. You can start the diet immediately. Nothing fried, nothing, um, no processed meats or nitrates or nitrites, no oils, and no gluten, no wheat, barley, rye, or oats. Call me every two weeks. Bring me up to date. Okay, Doug, let's go to uh, callers. Let's head to uh, Mesa, Arizona. And, Doug, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Hello, Doug, you're on the air. Hello, oh, Dr. Wallach. I appreciate your help. Thank you. What's up? Dr. Wallach, I have a lady that's 50 years old and weighs 215. She's five foot eight. She was five seven and a half. She has patches of dry skin, and she's scheduled for carpal tunnel surgery here in 10 days. And, um... She also has degenerative arthritis in her lower back, and now we're her, recently her knees and her and her hands joint pain. She's on cholesterol-lowering drugs. She's had her thyroid radiated, and she's on Centroid. And she's had. Okay, we got to run to one of those message moments here. Um, we'll be back with you in just a second, and we'll just quickly recap this and, and go on to the next piece, and then I will give you an answer. We'll be back after these messages. Okay, Doug, let's go right back to Arizona and Doug. Um, basically, um, would you, I, I think I got 90% of all this, uh, poor lady's, uh, infirmities or infirmities. Would you, uh, run down them again? So I just make sure I don't miss anything here. 
I got I started out with dry skin, carpal tunnel she, syndrome. Yes, and she had a thyroid three D. Okay, low thyroid. She's got so knee she problems, back thyroid. problems. Uh huh. And she had an episode of atrial fibrillation. At that time, they put her on high blood pressure medication. Okay, and she weighs uh, two hundred fifteen. How tall is she? She's five seven and a half. Five seven and a half. She was five, five seven. Eight. Okay. Yeah, even at 5'7", I'd like to have her lose 50 pounds. Um, we can do that safely over a period of three to six months. And, of course, the AFib is actually rarely is there anything wrong with the heart. Almost always it's a back problem. And you said uh, she shrunk a little bit. Um, okay, she went from 5'8 to 5'7 kind of thing. Uh, that's an indicator. And so let's get going here. She's get rid of And when you have like six diseases like this, you're looking at a serious malabsorption problem. Does she have any history of skin problems? You know, any eczema, dermatitis, psoriasis, rosacea? The patch of the dry skin she has periodically. Okay. Does she have any history of uh, uh, chronic constipation where she needed uh, laxatives or fiber to have regular bowel movements? No other gluten intolerance symptoms that I could find from her. Okay, no symptoms. Okay. Okay, here we go. Got to get rid of all the bad stuff. No fried foods. Absolutely no fried foods. Um, no exceptions. Absolutely no processed meats with nitrates and nitrites. No exceptions. All oils must go. No exceptions. That means absolutely no margarines, mayonnaise, salad dressings, cooking oil, canned fish. Got to be packed in water, mustard, tomato sauce, nut oils. And let's just assume for a moment that she does not have a gluten intolerance because other than she does have a lot of different diseases here, which is oftentimes a clue. But uh, let's just assume she doesn't. What I want her to do is take uh, two healthy bone and joint packs per month. That'll allow her to have one ounce of the Osteo FX Plus at breakfast and dinner. I want her to have two scoops of the Beyond Tain Tangerine Nutri Crystals at breakfast and dinner. Three of the EFA Plus is at breakfast and dinner. All that will be accomplished by the two healthy bone and joint packs per month. And also, there will be two large bottles of the 240-count glucogel, and that will allow her to have 15 capsules a day, five at breakfast, five at lunch, five at dinner. Um, all that would be accomplished by the two healthy bone and joint packs. And this will uh, support and promote maintenance and repair of cartilage, ligaments, tendons, connective tissue, disc between the vertebrae, bone matrix, and bone itself. This will support maintenance repair for the knees, the back, arthritis, uh, carpal tunnel syndrome, all that kind of stuff. I, I'd suggest to her that she um, reschedule that surgery for uh, three months down the line. Don't get the surgery. Also, it does the healthy bone and joint packs each come with a jar of the CM cream. She can put the CM cream on her wrist, both on the underside of her wrist and the sides and the top of her wrist, so she's going to get some anti-inflammatory and pain relief there. And then for her uh, thyroid, I would have her take um, three of the Ocean's Gold three times a day because she's a big girl. We're going to have three Ocean's Gold three times a day, three at breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That'll require three bottles a month, and this is uh, the favorite food, if you will, of the thyroid gland. Uh, the high blood pressure, I would have her take the ultimate daily tablets. I'd have her take three, three times a day. That's two bottles a month of the ultimate daily tablets, and they're designed to support and promote healthy blood flow through even blocked arteries and support and promote healthy blood pressure. Uh, the atrial fib um, is actually not a heart problem. It's almost always a back problem and uh, degenerative disc disease, and the vertebrae get closer together as the, as the disc shrink, and they, be, and they begin to smash the roots of the spinal nerve that uh, regulate the rhythm and the rate of the heartbeat. And when a person gets in a funny position, reaching around behind them, bending over, lifting up uh, things, uh, they'll set off an AFib attack, and uh, we have to resolve the back problem. We have to support and promote maintenance repair of that back, and you'll find that, that um, this will um, reduce the risk of having another AFib episode. Um, I, would not get a pace, I would not let her get a pacemaker, a defibrillator. I would not let her get a ablation or a retroversion. I would not put her on the heart transplant list. That will run up $500,000 for all those procedures, and it's not a heart problem. And so doctors uh, should be put in jail if they do heart procedures on somebody with AFib. Um, I think that um, uh, gets it. Uh, give me a call every couple of weeks. Give me a progress report. I want to know her blood pressure. I want to know her weight. Oh, I, I can make her lose weight faster if you want. Uh, this is something. It's, uh, I mean, this is, is something she have to look at in her budget. And if she wants to go faster, uh, she can put one dropper full of the 
ASAP drops under her tongue 30 minutes before each meal. Uh, that'll require one bottle a month, and that one bottle a month will last and allow her to have one dropper full under her tongue. Don't let her swallow it. She's got to just hold it in her mouth. It will be absorbed through the tissues. If she swallows the, the dropper full, it will actually be digested and be pointless. And so uh, I want to know her weight. I want to know her blood pressure. I want to know uh, every piece of information you can give me when she calls back. Okay, uh, Doug, let's go to callers. Well, let's head to Reno, Nevada. Ed, Dave, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Hello, Dave. You're on the air. Yeah, hi, Dr. Wallach. Um, about uh, five years ago, I uh, developed uh, chemical sensitivity to petrochemicals, uh, mainly uh, pesticides, uh, cleaning solvents, and chemtrails. And also about that time, I, I developed um, electromagnetic sensitivity, which I don't know is related, but I think it may be, where uh, I really uh, can't be around cell towers. And okay, how, how does this manifest itself? Do you have any skin problems at all? No. Okay, do you have any asthma? No. Any constipation or diarrhea? Uh, used to have constipation. That's okay, and, and how do you resolve your, that? Well, I, I've been following your programs for about ten months, and I've okay. had a lot of success. Okay, but, good. So you've given up. So you've given up uh, gluten. Yes. Okay, good. All right. Now, being on the, as you said, you've had a lot of success. Have you noticed any benefit in your symptoms? Um, you said you had a lot of you had a lot of success. What does that mean? Oh, well, I've gained an inch back in my height, although nobody believes it. Isn't that amazing? It's amazing. And I've, I had lost about an inch and a half. Mm -hmm. I've gained back an inch, and I'm hoping in another 10 months, who knows? The full, yeah. Full height. Well, uh, did you have sciatica or peripheral neuropathies or restless leg syndrome or anything like that? I had a little bit of peripheral neuropathy in my left arm. That's gone. And, Super. Uh, okay, well, hang on. I'll give you some things you can do for these uh, sensitivities that you have after these messages. Dead Doctors Don't Lie on the ZBS radio network. Dr. Joel Wallach here for the 90 for Life um, crusade with longevity. Uh, Doug, let's go right back to Nevada and Dave. Um, <clears throat> basically, um, just uh, stay on your program. Obviously, you're gaining benefit. But what I would do is, um, do you drink coffee? Um, a little bit, maybe one cup a day. Okay. Uh, one of the things I'm always concerned about is... Um, uh, coffee companies now use extenders. Uh, they use barley flour and uh, rye flour uh, to extend the coffee because coffee is very expensive. And that's uh, one reason to convert over to our Java Fit coffee or premium roast or premium roast decaf. Uh, we don't add any barley or, or um, rye to extend the coffee. It's just 100% beans, uh, organic. And um, uh, I've learned that that's the way to go. And... Um, that way you're going to really be downright gluten-free. There's no, no sense to give up bread and pasta and then be drinking coffee with rye in it. That, that'll get you. And uh, so I would do that. Then uh, we do have several detox programs. Uh, one is a five-day detox. There's th uh, three different products in there, and there's a book that comes in this package that tells you how to do these things in the proper sequence and so forth. So that's one consideration to do a five-day cleanse. But the thing that I like in somebody that's had long-term problems like yourself, is what we call herbal rainforest. And herbal rainforest is the 77 plant minerals and 14 classic cleansing herbs, including Cascara Sagrada, Taraxacum, and so forth. And these herbs give you a gentle cleanse, and um, it's going to take time uh, to get all these chemicals out of your uh, body fat. This is where they hide. They store in your body fat, and you don't want them to come out all at once because then you will get sick because uh, they'll come out of your fat into the bloodstream all at once. So what we want to do is let them trickle out, and I would do that. Uh, what do you weigh, Dave? 150. 150, okay. I'd start out with a 
half ounce, which is a tablespoon of this herbal rainforest at bedtime with a gla- full glass of water. And um, if you don't get diarrhea, you can try going up to a full ounce after a couple of weeks, but don't start out with a whole ounce because that will usually uh, give you diarrhea when you first just start, but start with a half ounce first at bedtime, glass of water. And then call me in two weeks. Let me know how you're feeling. Let me know how your energy is, and we'll go from there. That's the place to go. Okay, uh, Doug, do we have uh, time to try another one? Yeah, let's try to squeeze one more in. Let's head to Pennsylvania. And Denny, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Hello, Debbie. You're on the air. Hello, Dr. Wallach. Hi. How can I help you? Um, I have a, a thyroid condition. I have hypothyroidism. Okay, I missed the and first one. You, you, you have low thyroid. I missed the first part. Mm-hmm. Now tell me, uh, tell me the first disease you have. Well, no, it's just it's all thyroid. Hashimoto's disease. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So, how much do you weigh? One hundred and seventy. One seventy, one seven zero. Okay. Yep. What I, what I would do is have you take, um, and I'm assuming you no know other diseases because that's what you've told me. So we're going to start mm-hmm. out uh, with uh, two of the healthy start packs per month, one full dose of each of the three products at breakfast, one full dose of each three products at dinner. We'd also have you take um, three of our uh, Ocean's Gold at breakfast and three at dinner. That'll be two bottles a month. That gives uh, all the nutrients that your thyroid is is, uh, seeking out. Your thyroid needs more than just iodine. And then I would also throw in what we call HGH. Our HGH, I'd have you take six of those capsules at bedtime, again, with that same glass of water. Okay? And uh, the HGH is the raw material that, that helps the thyroid and the pituitary make their hormones. It's the raw material. It's the carbon chains that actually are the spine of the hormones. And then you add the ocean's gold, and that combination together is really going to make your thyroid happy. Also be useful if you give up cruciferous vegetables as well as fried foods, processed meats, and oils. Give up cruciferous vegetables, which interfere with thyroid function. We're talking cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, and kale. And uh, then call me every couple of weeks. You're welcome to call more frequently if you want to, but uh, don't um, wait longer than two weeks. Give me an update on how you're feeling, what's going on, and we'll walk you through this. Well, thank you, everybody. Really, great questions and testimonies today. Thank you so much, Doug and Billy. Superlative job as usual. God bless each and every one of you. God bless our troops. God bless our Navy SEALs. And God bless America. Hi everyone, Andy Anderson here. Are you using those handy little bottles of gel that zap germs, bacteria, and other nasties? In today's world, that's smart, especially with all the filthy doorknobs, shopping carts, and handrails we touch every day. Here's what you may not know. Once the alcohol evaporates, goodbye effectiveness. No more protection until you use it again. Pure works to the rescue. Our FDA-compliant foam, lotion, soap, and spray do not rely on alcohol. Their killing power lasts up to four hours. Pure Work Disinfecting Spray is EPA certified to kill swine flu, bird flu, MRSA, HIV, hepatitis B and C, and a whole host of viruses and bacteria, mold and fungus too. It's even safe around children and pets. You'll love the soft feel of Pure Works on your hand. It actually conditions and will not dry your skin. Here's a little peace of mind knowing your hands are still germ-free hours later. Get your hands on Pure Works and get Pure Works on your hands. Stand by. Pull out your paper and pencil for your local number to order Pure Works. You've listened to physician and veterinarian Dr. Joel Wallach help many people on the Dead Doctors Don't Lie talk radio program. You've also heard hundreds of people tell how Dr. Wallach and Longevity products have changed their lives. If you're now convinced that Dr. Wallach is onto something and you want to try Longevity's premium quality products for yourself, we can connect you with a distributor that serves your local area. Simply call our special helpline voicemail at 313 444 3463. That's 313-444-3463. Call right now and leave your name, telephone number, or email address, and we'll see to it that the right person contacts you shortly. Remember, the phone number, 313-444-3463. That's 313-444-3463. Call now to change your life. That's 313-444-3463. 3463. Hi, this is Dr. Joel Wallach, your host of Dead Doctors Don't Lie. If you're interested in a colon cleanse, blood cleanse, liver cleanse, you know, in the classical herbal way, you want to ask your longevity associate for Herbal Rainforest. Herbal Rainforest has 16 herbs. 
16 cleansing herbs, classic cleansing herbs, and 77 plant minerals. That's right, and these are all organic. It doesn't get any better than that. In your busy day, and you're around all these toxins out there in your workplace, on the way home, going to work, in your food, in the air, in the water, you need herbal rainforest. I guarantee you, it will give you a cleanse. You can control the dose. It's a liquid. It tastes good. It doesn't get any better than this. A colon that's happy makes you happy. Nothing better than a happy colon. Herbal rainforest. Clean it out. For more information on this product or others you've heard about on the Dead Doctors Don't Lie radio program, call your local Longevity associate today. And don't forget to ask about home-based business opportunities. Greetings, everyone. Judy DeVilbus here. What do you think of when you hear the words tangy tangerine? Well, I think of like a sweet, tangy tasting something. Well, what I'm referring to is the ultimate tangy tangerine. It's a fantastic product. It has everything you need, and a great benefit is it's very, very delicious. It's very easy to drink. I've suggested it even to youngsters. Even children like it. Even little guys. Even little girls. They come right into my office. Their parents can't get them to take those chewable and besides that, they're not as good as tangy tangerine. And I give them a little taste of that, and you know something? They're pleased as punch. So, if it's good for a child, and it tastes delicious, why not you? There's no excuse not to take a vitamin when it tastes as good as that does. So how about it? Tangy tangerine should be the answer to all of your nutritional program problems. For more information, or to order, call your Longevity distributor today. And don't forget to ask about Longevity home-based business opportunities. You've listened to physician and veterinarian Dr. Joel Wallach help many people on the Dead Doctors Don't Lie talk radio program. You've also heard hundreds of people tell how Dr. Wallach and Longevity products have changed their lives. If you're now convinced that Dr. Wallach is onto something and you want to try Longevity's premium quality products for yourself, we can connect you with a distributor that serves your local area. Simply call our special helpline voicemail at 313 444 3463. That's 313-444-3463. Call right now and leave your name, telephone number, or email address, and we'll see to it that the right person contacts you shortly. Remember, the phone number, 313-444-3463. That's 313-444-3463. Call now to change your life. That's 313 444 3463. I am Judy DeVilbus. Here I am speaking to you again. I just wanted to tell you that recently I started drinking the whey shakes again, the chocolate whey shake. And you need to remember the whey shake isn't just for losing weight. It's a fantastic place to get your great protein. And if you're trying to gain weight, you can take it along with your meals. And the best part is if you want to just have a great protein shake, do like I do. Put it over ice, stir it up, and you can sip on it for 20 minutes to an hour. I do it every single day. I absolutely love it. You need to get back to it, too. It's really good for you. And it makes not fat, but it makes muscle after you work out. And you can also mix it up in a blender with an egg, and you have the most incredible health protein shake. Or mix it with a little water, stir it up, and you have a little pudding. And who doesn't like pudding? For more information or to order, call your Longevity distributor today. And don't forget to ask about Longevity home-based business opportunities.